Ever since the news broke that Donald Trump allegedly had an affair with Stormy Daniels while newly married to Melania Trump in 2006, the First Lady has seemed at odds with her husband. Now that the 60 Minutes special with Daniels is set to air on March 25, Melania is continuing to shade her husband in subtle ways. On the evening of March 23, the couple and their son Baron flew into Florida together to spend the weekend at Mar-a-Lago. When they landed at Palm Beach International Airport, Melania exited Air Force One behind Trump, but then stepped past him, keeping her left hand in her pocket and right hand on the railing. She continued to walk a few paces ahead of him with her head down and didn't hold his hand as they got into the awaiting motorcade. Hours before the awkward arrival, Melania broke protocol when she drove by herself to Andrews Air Force Base to board the presidential plane without being accompanied by the president. She had initially been scheduled to ride Marine One with Trump, but he instead flew on the helicopter alone to meet his wife, who already boarded the airplane. The First Lady's communications director, Stephanie Grisham, explained that the change in travel arrangements was because Melania's schedule made it easier to meet on the plane. Rex, shudder shock while these frigid actions happen just two days before Daniels tells all in her 60 Minutes interview, there might be other accusations that have triggered Melania's flight or fight response. On March 22, Playboy Playmate Karen McDougal opened up about her alleged affair with the president on Anderson Cooper 360. She claimed to have seen Trump dozens of times over their alleged 10-month affair. She also claimed that he never wore a condom during their alleged sexual encounters. Karen did say that she'd apologize to Melania if given the chance, but hearing all of that still must have hurt the First Lady pretty badly.